What would it be like to stand on Jupiter? I think most people would be surprised to learn that you actually can stand on Jupiter. You just can't stand on it for very long. Jupiter is a gas giant, so it doesn't have a solid surface like Earth. Instead, it's made mostly of hydrogen and helium gas, just like the Sun. If you were to try and land on Jupiter, your ship would get crushed by the immense pressure hundreds of miles below the surface. But if you somehow managed to get to the bottom, what would you see? If you were on Jupiter at its core, you would be met with a horrific scene. The crushing pressure would be thousands, maybe even millions times greater than the Earth's pressure. The temperature at the core is estimated to be around 27,000 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 15,000 degrees Celsius. The swings in temperature between the core and the surface would cause massive storms that would last for years. But what about the Great Red Spot? The Great Red Spot is a massive storm that has been raging on Jupiter for centuries. If you were to stand on the edge of the Great Red Spot, you would be met with winds that are hundreds of times faster than the speed of sound. The air would be filled with ammonia and methane, giving it a strong detergent-like smell. The clouds would be towering over you, and the colors would be unlike anything you had ever seen before. But as the sun began to set on Jupiter, things would take a turn for the worse. The lack of sunlight would cause the temperature to drop dramatically. You would need a spacesuit just to survive. As the temperature dropped, the pressure would also drop causing the gases around you to expand. You would feel like you were being pulled in all directions at once. The best way to describe it would be like being inside of a tornado, except this would be much, much worse. As you continue to descend into the atmosphere, the pressure would start to increase again. You would feel like you were being crushed, like someone was squeezing the air out of your lungs. The higher you go on Jupiter, the more dangerous it becomes. Eventually, you would reach the point where you couldn't breathe anymore. You would need to use an oxygen tank just to survive. The air would be so thick that you could barely move. You would feel like you were drowning in a dense, sticky liquid. As you finally reach the surface of Jupiter, you would be met with a sight that would make you forget all about the crushing pressure and the lack of oxygen. You would see the most beautiful sunset you had ever seen in your life. The sky would be filled with all of the colors of the rainbow, and the clouds would be rolling by like waves in the ocean. It would be a beautiful, peaceful scene. But don't get too comfortable because you only have seconds left to live. The intense pressure and the lack of oxygen would quickly cause you to black out, and then you would die. 